What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I wanted to make a quick video about the power of rotation. This is something I've been thinking a lot about lately. Just how fucking beautiful it is to have what's essentially a conglomerate super girlfriend. Alright? Now I'll go into what I mean by that in just a moment. If you're new to the channel or you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe below and you will get updates about new videos every week. So basically when you're running a rotation, a rotation or a harem of girls refers to a set of regulars that you see on a consistent basis. I think this should be everyone's goal. Okay. Some of you want to get married and want to have a girlfriend. That's fine. But a rotation is arguably far better. Okay. For those of you that are dead set on a girlfriend or, or marriage, okay, at least hear me out about what a rotation entails and all the benefits. So my issue with monogamy, first of all, it's not natural. Okay, we weren't meant as a species to just have one partner. Okay, this is proven through evolutionary psychology and, and research into our ancestry, into other animal species, etc. And they've linked it to parts of our brain. Okay, there's only a very, very limited set of species that are full monogamous and built that way with their brain. And humans are not one of them. Okay, one of them is a particular species, a monkey, I don't remember the name. But they did experiments where they tinkered with that little part of its brain and it started going around and fucking everyone. Okay, so monogamy largely comes from religion and from the state. Okay, it's a lot, it's a lot easier to control people. And I'm not going to even go down that road here in this video. But it's a lot easier to control people when they have a stable familial unit. Okay, but we are hardwired to want to pass on our genes. Okay, they found that rotation, they don't refer to this as rotations in the in the literature, the scientific literature, but we are meant to have one main partner and a bunch of side partners. Now, what what benefit does having a whole bunch of partners at once provide? Okay, a lot of people are like, why don't why don't you just why aren't you happy enough with just one girl? That's why my mom always says, why, why aren't you just happy enough with one girl? Here's why. They have a fixed set of personality characteristics. They have a fixed um, body type. Okay. And I'll just be, I'll just speak freely here. Some days, uh, let me go over the, the non-physical aspects so I don't sound like an asshole. The non-physical aspects first. Um, you know, so, okay, like, looking at my current rotation, like, some of the girls are shy, like, and they want to have, like, intellectual discussions, okay? Some of them are party girls. Some of them like to do spontaneous adventure shit. Like, some of them are bisexual and they want to bring other girls in. Some of them... Um, like to just fucking order food and watch movies. Like some of them like to get all dialed up and go out to restaurants. Okay, the, the super hot ones. Like there's all kinds of different activities and different, and, and you know, I can be more silly with some of them, more serious with others. So if I just had one girl and she happened to be like very shy, like that's all I'm going to get, right? Or right, let's say she had small tits. Like I'm never going to get to experience big tits like while I'm monogamous with that girl okay some people are like well why does that matter I like like some days I want to have a fucking big ass some days I want to have big tits some days I want to have like a fucking skinny model looking chick you know your physical attract you know what traits you're attracted to physically those are going to change sometimes you're in the mood for this sometimes you're in the mood for that but it's nice to have a variety okay and it's also nice to have a variety of personalities. I think I think if you just have like a fixed personality, it can start to grow like stale. It can start to grow boring. It can start to grow predictable. You know what she likes. You you've talked about a lot of the stuff that you guys are into, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. To, to keep things fun and interesting, it's nice to just have this whole variety. Okay. And also the other problems are if you're just strict monogamous is jealousy and, and control and, the, and these things kind of like creep up, okay? Where you're like, oh, I wonder if she's talking to other dudes and she's wondering the same about you, okay? Or, you know, you're like smothering each other or, you know, it's it's just not, not healthy. Monogamy introduces a whole bunch of negative aspects to the ship and it's going to make you more needy as well, okay? Um, you're going to be texting her more often than you should. You're going to be seeing her more often than you should when you're apart, you're going to be like wondering what she's doing. You're going to, you know, a lot of these things that, that got you the girl in the first place, once you become monogamous, they're going to flip upside down 
and you're going to be exhibiting a bunch of needy, low value, not every time, but this is the tendency that I've seen with my clients and, and just from looking at the psychology of all this, it even can happen to myself, right? Like I've landed these full package nine fives and then I cut off like a 10 girl rotation for instance. And then all these like, you know, non needy, um, cool, you know, cool, like smooth behaviors, they start to like erode a little bit. And then you're like, Oh shit. Like, like, cause, cause you go into, I don't like to use the terms like scarcity and abundance, but, but you really, this is your only girl. This is your only option, right? Like you need her. Right. Whereas when you're running a rotation, if a girl fucks up, you don't need to see her. Like you can either cut her off or you can like give her a warning or you can just ghost her for a bit, showing her that you don't approve of the way she's behaving. Right. Like I just cut off, uh, like close to a nine five, like probably a low nine, just she was being like fucking annoying. Right. Like she, she was just frankly annoying me. And if that was my girlfriend, that was like the only chick I was dating. I would probably tolerate that behavior to a bunch more degree and then start to resent her, et cetera, et cetera. But the point of this video is if you have not run a rotation before, I highly suggest that you do. It doesn't take as long as most guys think to build it up. I will link at the end of this video. I have a, a video on how to build and manage rotations. That's not the subject of this video. I kind of want to compare pros and cons of rotations versus monogamy. But I do have a whole video where I, where I went over all the exact strategies for building up rotation and maintaining it. Okay, and I go into far more detail in my Occam's Razor product linked in the description below if you're interested. But I really think that, you know, just having this variety of personality traits and this variety of, of physical attributes, okay, keeps things interesting. It almost makes your relationships more healthy with each of these girls. Like, counterintuitively, like guys would think like, oh, but you're, you know, you're not being true to her. You're fucking all these girls. I don't make them my explicit girlfriend. Okay. And I, I have like a don't ask, don't tell kind of position where I assume they're being monogamous to me. Okay. Cause I give them extremely good sex. I give them amazing amounts of value, like in terms of what I bring to the table and how I enhance their life. And they have tons of fun with me. Okay. And I'm not, worried about them seeing other dudes. I'm almost positive in, in almost every rotation girl that I have that they're not seeing other dudes. Once in a while, like a chick will mention that like she went on a date or something and I typically punish them for that. It, it is a two way standard, but that's how I play it. I play that it's pretty much one way monogamous. If they ask me if I'm seeing other chicks, I say that I'm too busy with work, even though I'm seeing other girls, but they're not my girlfriend. So I think it's not that big of a deal. Okay. Um, although it is objectively unethical. So kind of just in summary here, um, you can build up a rotation, like let's say a small, I typically run uh, six to 12 girls at a time. Over the past year or two, it's, it's gotten a little bit higher. It's like between like eight and 15, 16, sometimes even getting up to 17. It starts to have some diminishing returns. Once you get up to, and these are quality problems, obviously. Once you get up to 14, 15, 16 girls, I talk about in that other video, you should only be seeing them like once a week in your main, your top one or two, like the hottest one, hottest one or two that you have the most chemistry with. You can see them like two or three times a week. But if you start seeing them more than that, you're going to develop attachment on both sides and the jealousy and control will creep in on both sides. And also she might want you to commit to monogamy. I'm like fading to black here. It was like a cloudy day and I recorded late, so. Oh, and for all you motherfuckers that are commenting in every single video about the Max Rose, yes, it is coming tomorrow. I'm preparing it tonight, recording it tomorrow, so you can finally shut the fuck up. It's like, <laughs> it's insane. Like, the same people have been, like, post, like, it's, it's like little kids. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? I mentioned it's coming. Fucking chill out. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, you can build let's say two, three, four girls within a month. No joke. When you're doing this stuff properly, when you're executing the machine properly, you can literally start from nothing. Okay. And I do this in new cities all the time. When I move to a new city, I start from nothing. I start from scratch and I build up a hot girl rotation within a month. Okay. And you can do the same if you're executing all these processes and, and the whole system properly. And then you can literally just stop. Like if you want to, like, for guys that are really busy, like I have like doctor and, and lawyer clients that are working around the clock and all this stuff and they don't have time to just go on dates all the time. 
okay and they don't want to run 17 girls like in some ways it's a huge headache like <laughs> you <laughs> you have to like constantly be canceling on them and then like deal with the fallout of like constantly being aloof and, and canceling but um whatever your goals are if you learn this stuff properly okay if you get the proper training about this stuff you can build up the, the rotation of your dreams with girls that are like a seven five or eight or higher okay and have multiple of them and then in your free days you schedule those rotation girls like I think most people watching this, like from what I've gathered, like most people are not running rotations. Most guys are doing like this endless cold approaching wrong, okay, that they're, they're lacking a huge amount of skill and a huge amount of technique and a huge amount of, you know, knowing wh what the fuck is going on. And they'll get an occasional lay with an average girl or a fat girl. That usually happened mostly from luck and not from skill, meaning that she, it was like, the, it was like the right place, the right time. Lots of times where, where this chick lost her friends or like, you know, she, something bad, maybe she got in a fight with her friends, she's outside crying, and, you know, some guy swoops the fat girl, like, in her time of need or whatever. This is, like, what I typically hear from a lot of guys that are, you know, and that's their, that's their lay, that, like, tells them that game is working, that reinforces whatever the fuck bullshit they were doing is working, which is totally not even true, and it satisfies some kind of sexual urge even though it's probably shitty sex and, and the girl they wasn't even attractive and they weren't even that attracted to the girl so it's much better to run proper game get quality women and retain them okay so make sure you check out how to build and manage rotations it will be in the end screen of this video rst max roast coming tomorrow and uh for those of you some guys are asking me about my mastermind group if you are interested in that email me at john anthony gmail.com and i will um tell you the details on that and add you to that. Okay. But that, that is, uh, a paid mastermind. Okay. So if you got value from this video, please like it. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow for the max roast and take care. I'm like <laughs> almost in pitch black now. Okay. See you guys later.